I'll have a bit of an air bubble right, uh, you can see this right here, and I'm going to try to work that out. It may be a far distance. Well, I need to get the air out of it, so what I'll do, put it in position where you can see what I'm doing here. You can see this bubble right here. Um, before I put a little hole in it with the uh, with the Exacto, I'm going to heat it up uh, quite a bit with the with the hair dryer first. Reason being is I don't want it to uh, shrink and pull more. What I'd like to do is heat it up so that it's more supple, so that I can force more of that air out uh, after I purge it. here. So before I cut the opening here, what I want to do is heat it up again and try to stretch. I'm going to try to get these little wrinkles out here. That's a tough one. I have to really stretch the media at this area here. I had piece of a fold of, of the media and I needed to superheat that and just pull that wrinkle right out, stretch it right out. So I did get a few very small ones left in here and I don't think I'll be able to get that out now. But that's okay. So I'll do it. Now just quickly, uh, in the end you can trim off all the surroundings, oops, where are we? You can trim off all the surroundings with an exacto, just fold the edge, shave it. And uh, if you have any spots where there's air pockets, a little air bubble here and there, um, and I'll see if I can zoom into this if possible. It's this area right here. I don't know if you can see, there's an air bubble here, oops, where are we, there we go, air bubble here, there's one here, so what I'll do is I'll heat it up with the hair dryer, and then as it gets really hot, I'll prick a little hole directly into the center of that little air pocket, and then I'll push straight down with my thumb, and it'll be gone. That's how you would get rid of little tiny areas like that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.
I'll post a picture of this uh, once I get it all trimmed up and cleaned up. This will follow suit with the other uh, videos that I've been compiling.